Hey guys, hope you're having a good day. So today we got this home light vac attack 2. Uh, no crazy backstory on this one. Just found it local for cheap. I think I paid 10 bucks for it. And a buddy of mine just bought a house. So this will be going to him. And uh, surprisingly enough, it runs as is. Let me show you. So with that, we're not going to be doing anything crazy. We're not going to get into the carb. We're just going to do new lines, new primer bulb, since I started to see that cracking. Um, before we do that, I do want to clean this thing off. It's it's kind of seeping fuel, uh, whether that's from the carb or the lines. I'm thinking the lines, but it's just overall very dirty. So I'm going to spray this down with some degreaser, rinse it off, and I'll bring you back when we're clean and uh, ready to dig into it. Okay, first things first, we're going to drain that fuel. I typically like to put my own known good mix in. So let's see what, what's in here. Looks pretty old. Doesn't look like there's any water in it though. Let's do that carb. No air filter. So we'll have to get him one. Three eighths nut. That needs to be cleaned. I'm just clipping these because I'm not going to reuse them. You're going to have to be a little bit more careful if you're going to reuse your lines. Throttle linkage is hanging me up there. Okay. Zama. C1U. H61. All right. Let's see what we got for a filter in here. Let me uh, let me get these lines out of here. Get the filter out, and I'll we'll get set up. All right. Well, let's do these lines first. So I got those old ones snipped out of there, and I found a line size that works well with the uh, the hole size in the tank. So this was the filter. I'm going to reuse that since that looks to be in decent shape still. And uh, in order to get that on, it needs to lay right about here in the tank, but I need to feed the line in almost to here to be able to fit the filter on the end here and then pull it back through to about that position. So I'm gonna start with the filter line and I'm gonna use this bottom hole, this top one I'm just gonna use for the, the return. I'm not sure it really matters, but I'm gonna go ahead and feed this in here. Hopefully I don't block your guys' view, but I'm gonna do my best.
Okay. Let's pull that back through. So it's right on the bottom of the tank there. Might be hard to see. Okay. So now with the return, I'm just gonna feed that piece in so that there's about one or two inches below the surface of the tank, the inside of the tank. Okay. And I think the return was up here somewhere on that carb, so I'm gonna cut it long just in case. So we'll have to get the carb on there and trim those back, but we should be good to go there. Let's look at the carb. So we know this thing needs a primer bulb and it actually did crack while I was messing with it. So I've got a couple different options. This is an aftermarket one. It's slightly bigger in diameter than I think this is an, a used OEM one. So I'll use this on worst case scenario, but I'm gonna try to fit this one in there. So we just need to take these four screws off and replace that bulb. Okay. Yeah, it matches up better with that that other one, but I'm gonna try this new one because I don't want this to go bad on them. Yeah, that fits good. I think we're good there. And the other thing I want to do is get this like government limiter cap off of here. So I think it just pushes off. I'm going to try to just pry it off with a flathead screwdriver. These are, I can't pull these individual screws out because there's kind of a, a ridge on the inside. So this whole plastic piece has got to come off. I'm just prying this plastic away so that you can pop those caps off the screws. I'm probably blocking your view. This is the part I just pried off if I didn't get it in camera. Stick your screwdriver between there, pry that open, and then pull that red piece off. So now I just have to do the other one. Let me get a, a pick. Let's try a tiny screwdriver. It's being a little difficult.
All right, now we should be able to uh, adjust that a little bit better. Now to uh, put the carb back on, and a couple things we gotta make sure we get right are the line routing. This one was the return, that'll go here. And this one was the feed, which will go here. And this is the throttle linkage that needs to be behind this bar here. So I'm gonna have to kind of finagle that on. But once I get this on, I'll get the air filter housing on. I found this generic filter. It'll have to do for now until I can get the right one to them, but it'll be better than nothing. So all we do is slide this on. I'm going to make sure that that linkage is around where it needs to be. Yep. And then this was return. And this was a filter. Okay. That was pretty close with those initial cuts. I didn't have to trim them. So let me get this thing back together. We'll get some fresh fuel in there and we'll uh, test it. We'll see if we need to uh, adjust the carb or not. Okay guys, so we got some uh, fresh fuel in there. I just want to see if it purges good. Which it does. And we got a little mini screwdriver if we need to make adjustments. So here we go. I think that'll do it for this one so i'll have to retune this when it gets warmer out it's like 45 today and uh that'll affect how it runs when they actually go to use it during the summertime so i'll have to redo that but yeah simple tune-up we did the lines purge bulb and showed you how to remove those limiter caps so hopefully that information helps somebody out and uh, i'll catch you on the next one thanks for watching